Yeah. Evening everybody, afternoon, wherever it is, whatever time it is that you're watching this video. Sometime today. Uh, well, sometime today. How's the jet lag? It's all right, you know. Good, yeah, we How's only yours? got back from uh, Nam on Monday. Um, yeah. What day is it? Wednesday? I don't know. Yes. Yes. Feeling good anyway. Hello everybody, we're back in the UK. We are. So just got a, a little small shipment of custom shop uh, guitars from Fender. Just thought we'd show them to you because everyone seems to love the unboxing videos. All these extra work that we put into all these promo videos and all that kind of stuff, but everyone seems to like these ones the most. So mm -hmm. there you go. But it is what it is, so we'll pop them out and give you a little treat, see what we've got in here. So the first one is a 1960 Strat Relic, and it's a left-hander by the look of it. Rosewood fingerboard as well. SFG is the colour, so I should imagine that is sea foam or surf green. Surf maybe? Maybe. So, fair bit of lefty attention in here, I think. Always. What we got going on? Toby's here, by the way. Our, our own, very own Ed Sheeran. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he looks like Ed Sheeran, but Egg Sheeran. I'd say more, yeah, more Egg Sheeran. Oh, surf, lovely. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Talking of egg, that's got a bit of eggshell mm -hmm. crackage. Very nice. That's really nice. I don't actually remember seeing a lot of relics come through left-handed lately. It's been mm. a lot of NOS, but this is, is this marking a change. Yeah, well, we like to mix it up. Mm -hmm. A few nice different bits and pieces. So what we've got with the specs. <coughs> so this is a 60 Stratocaster relic. So this has got the Tomatillo pickups in there. A uh, 60 style oval C and a 9.5 radius uh, fingerboard as well. And I guess they are fret, yeah, uh, 6105 fret wire. So nice hand wound pickups. Nice spec. Yeah. Excellent Just pronunciation on that as well. By Tomatillo. Way. I got told off for uh, yeah. saying Tomatillo like a little mm -hmm. English boy. I know, but no. Never mind. Should we get the, the trim arm out? Yeah, get the trim arm and out. Get the trim arm out, and then Toby can make an appearance. There he is. The main man. <laughs> the main man. And the Ted Shearer. <laughs> okay. Is it the right trim? Mm, yeah, it seems to be. It's in there. Very good. Spinny go, spin. Toby. Spinny McSpin. Nice spin. to see you in 2020, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's raise that in now. Yeah. Lovely. All right. What we got next? Uh, 1960 Strat Heavy <coughs> Relic Rosewood Fingerboard Three Tone Sunburst. Sounds like it's going to be good. So, are these all team built guitars today? Uh, I think it's four team built and two master built. Ah. Okay. So that one was, of course. A team built guitar, as is this one, I think. Let's have a looky. What's going on with this case? <coughs> uh oh, live stream nightmare. Okay. Oh no, yep. sorry. Oh, oh, hello. Nice. Who, who spec this one out? I think someone from someone. the team spec this out. Was it you, Tom? Someone Did very spec clever. This out? Who is he? That's nice. So this was a, was it 60, did you say? 61? Let's have a little look. Black nut. Umbuk here. Really nice, um, that's quite a modern neck profile. Yeah. I think. And it's very, 60 very 60 style oval C. So this is a, a good rocktastic strap. Yeah. So it's got Ancho Pablano single coils and one of the EVH oh, uh, nice. humbuckers in there. Nice. So got the- And the contoured heel. Yeah, contoured heel. They locking vintage, yeah, vintage locking tuners. Yeah. So it's a good modern shred, shred style strat. 9.5 to 12 inch compound radius with 6100 uh, jumbo frets. Yeah, big frets. Nice. Really nice. That's a really comfortable neck. Mm, you pretty, feel yeah, that? pretty cool. Cool looking guitar, isn't it? That? Yeah. Good weight as well. Nice bit of relic in on there. Mm -hmm. Really like that. That is a beast. Obviously, it's funny that you get all the kind of inspired by Fender guitars that do the hot rod thing. But I think Fender, when they do, when Fender do it themselves, 
they've got a very unique take on it. Yeah. So all the guitars are claiming to be, or people claim are just copying Fender. I don't think they are. Mm. They're unique just as Fender's kind of hot rod strats are yeah. unique too. So. That's great looking guitar. Very cool. We've had a few of these humbucker type strats in recently, haven't we? But none of the um, that graphite nut on there and stuff. And yeah, I was going to cool, ask. Pretty what cool that faded that burst finish on there as well. Mm. Nice. Thanks, Toby. Okay. On you go. Right, what do we have next? A 60 Tele uh, Rosewood Relic in or WBL, which we think is white blonde. Okay. Don't often see that, do you? The rosewood fingerboard. Yeah. So is that, a, is that an ash body on this yeah, one? Yeah, ash body, that is, yeah. You have a look at that. Nice big neck on there. Yeah, pretty, pretty lightweight as well. That is a big neck. What was it? No caster no, profile? Might be. It's, it feels maybe 60. Oh no, yeah, it's 51 U shape. Interesting tuning there. Mm. Uh, twisted Tele pickups, 9.5 radius, and 6105 frets as well. Yeah, ash body. All these guitars have super, super smooth fingerboard edges. I yeah. don't know if they're doing something differently now with rolling it, do you think, or is it just... They seem to go through various game. kind of development stages where you see it in different batches, kind of when we get a larger batch of guitars and you can notice a lot of kind of um, uniform changes Right. In, in one. Yeah, that's really nice, really nice. Uh, I don't think I've seen a telly like that before. Yeah. Certainly not with a, Rosewood. Uh, bit of a quo. Sort yeah, of it thing does. To it, hasn't it? It does. Stick a pick in there. That's it. Oh, cool. That's mine. Thank you. Right. Nice. Right. Halfway there. On the subject of Fender, um, yeah. as you guys will see from the upcoming videos if you haven't already, <coughs> it was a very, very successful year for Fender Custom Shop. Yeah. Say, isn't it? And, um, Absolutely. Had some really great offerings. So there's going to be plenty more of these unboxings to come, I should think. That, absolutely. So this is a 65 Strat Relic in age vintage, vintage white. Nice. I like the 65s. Yeah. Yeah. Slightly different tone, a little bit more kind of um, chime to the pickups mm -hmm. on those 65s. What pickups are they usually? Are they just... Yeah, the, the, the standard 65 okay. grey bottoms. That's lovely. And really good weight as well. A smooth feel to the back of the neck. Yeah, check that out. Let's have a look at uh, what we've got going on. The specs. Very nice. It reminds me, the body anyway, reminds me a bit of the, um, the Malmsteen, mm. the duck guitar, that finish. Yeah, really good. vintage white, just yellow. The way gear. it's faded is really nice. So that is 65C strap neck profile, uh, hand wound 64 strap pickups. Um, so they're good, really good Maya type sort of tone. I really like them for that. Uh, yeah, 65C, 9.5 radius uh, with 6100 jumbo frets. So really cool. Nice, lightly relic. It's a great looking cool. guitar. Yeah. Really striking because normally they all try and, I think they work hard to merge the color of the mm. pick guard with the mm. body, don't they? But that, that stands out really well. Yeah, I like the uh, transition logo as yeah. well. Everyone seems to love the uh, spaghetti kind of original, but I like that. I like that too. A bit thicker oh, as well, aren't they? The headstock. Yeah, and also these. see the uh, the body shape as well. That was when it started changing. There's less of a pronounced kind of um, curve there. Right. It's a bit more kind of blocky where it started to change 64, 65. Mm. And you really see the difference on the 66 strap as well. History. A bit of history there for you. Thank you. All right, so we're down to a couple of nice uh, master builds. Thanks, I know my uh, 
friend Joel in Australia, not our Joel, another one. He's gonna be keen to see one of these, especially the, uh, I think there's a left-handed telly here. Why don't, we, uh, why don't we get that one out next? It's a Dale Wilson master built. Okay, I think this is the first ever <coughs> lefty master built Dale that we've had anyway. Right. I think so, I may be wrong. So let's check this one out. So. Oh. How big do you want to make this reveal? Ooh. There we go. Uh. Look, I know relics aren't for everyone, but if you if you do like relics, very cool, yeah. Then there is no better, is there really? Dale Wilson is the master. What colour is that? I think it's super faded Lake Placid Blue. <laughs> no, um, Sonic. Uh, Sonic Blue, sorry. Right. That would be very faded Lake. Talking, yeah, that would be, yeah. It reminds me a bit of, have you seen what um, has become of Mike Bloomfield's Telecaster now? Yeah. Where I think a left-handed player had it and mm. cut out the other side. That's right, it. yeah. It reminds yeah. me a little bit of that, aesthetically. Uh. Yeah. If there's any Bloomfield fans out there that also want to play a left-handed version of his guitar. About chopping that other bit off. Yeah. So it is a hand-wound twisted telly neck pickup with a hand-wound red hot telly bridge pickup. Uh, all the body, uh, 59 Esquire C profile, 9.5 inch radius with 6105 frets as well. Awesome. Yeah, that is an awesome guitar. Shame it's not right-handed. I wonder if we'll ever lovely, see one. Uh, lovely dark rosewood fingerboard. Yeah. Dale always picks out really nice rosewood for the fingerboards and really good weight as well. It's trademark feel on the neck too. Yeah. This guitar is really, really comfy. Great. I wish I could play a chord or anything on it. Well, I'm sure, sure you could manage something. Right, let's move on Thank to you. the final one. So this last one's another Dale, is it? Yeah. Awesome. I think it's another vintage white kind of super aged strap. So it's a 61 strap heavy relic in aged vintage white. I want to staple myself. Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Super, super duper lightweight. Let's see if you can check out. You probably, I don't know if you can see, but the kind of the ridges that it kind of has in there as well. Do you feel that, Jack? Yeah. Feel the weight of it as well. This is obviously a winning spec, isn't it? Yeah. We've seen a few guitars like this or similar to this. Yeah, very light. Very balanced as well, I was mm. fine with his guitars. They're maybe a little bit more Maybe it's just because of the body's so light, yeah. it feels more neck heavy. Yeah. Very cool. Great. And um, for anyone who hasn't heard any of Dale's guitars before, whatever he does to the electronics on them mm. is just right. Like it's nicely mellowed out. There's none of that. No, they're not harsh, are they? Machine. So this has got hand wound 59 strap pickups, uh, 59 Esquire C neck profile, uh, 6100 jumbo frets, uh, 9.5 radius. Yeah, dark rosewood fingerboard. Yeah. Just That's very cool how it's lighter on this side. Yeah, than yeah. Okay, I don't know how well I guess where it's but to, to kind of simulate, yeah. you know, art, just more arm, arm wear and... Oh, on the back too. Very clever man. Yes. Cool. Look forward to plugging that in, I think. Yeah. Why don't you plonk that in there, Jack? Plonked away. Very good. Thank you, Tony. Well, well, that's that for today. Sure, there'll be more unboxings to come soon for 2020. Very good haul. Good haul. Nice yeah. theme there too, I think. Yeah. They all sort. If of you like it. relics. Yeah. And Which, the odd and the odd lefty. Who doesn't like a relic? Quite a lot of people, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Right. Well, that's all cool. We'll um, we'll see you next time. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Cheers. Bye. Bye.